OK, what we're going to do here is to open up a new training course, book someone in and then send them a confirmation. So the first thing I'll do is open up the course. So if I go into my diaries and then go to the date on which I want the course to run, so I'll choose the 15th and click anywhere here. I'll choose add new event. This is a new training event. Um, we have three types of courses that we run the uh, Beginner's Guide to the Internet, Introduction to Microsoft Excel, and Introduction to Microsoft Word. And I'm going to do the third one of that, the Introduction to Word. Um, start time is 9 o'clock, end time is 5 o'clock, so they are all fine. Click on OK. Now that will create the course for us and put in all of the defaulted information, so the default price of 300, booking capacity of 10, um, and here the staff required to run it is one. So I'll click on OK and there it is, open up in the diary. And you'll see here a green V symbol which indicates that the course still has vacancies. And it's showing zero of ten, meaning that there are no contacts booked in at the moment and ten spaces left. So if I click on that, it then takes us through the bookings process. So we want to book one space. The cost is £300. Um, we can then choose from a list of options. Now these options obviously you can tailor to what uh, your company uses. Um, we provide lunch for an additional £10, so I'm going to tick on that. And there's a car park around the corner which charges £5 that we can arrange the pass for. So if the customer comes by car, um, I can arrange for the pass. So we'll tick on that as well. Click on the close and you'll see then that the price has automatically updated now to £315, taking into account the lunch and the, the pass. Um, now, clicking on the next, I will then choose, this is a new contact, and I will then fill in his details. He's whoops, Mr. David Jones, and it's a home address. I'll put in his postcode of CM178H and the house number is 180 and you'll see here how the uh, address gets automatically filled in using the postcode and house number that saves a valuable bit of typing. Uh, home phone number uh, is 123456 and work phone number and his mobile number and we'll use the uh, email address from here there we go and always worth filling in where customer heard about you I'll actually choose internet this list here you can update to match all of the um, advertising places that you use and uh, finally it's always good to ask how a customer is happy to receive correspondence from you so can we contact you by phone yes and can you contact you through email we'll do phone and email I think um, click on next now this is where we can optionally take payment from the customer obviously if they're uh, booking over the phone this is handy um, the money owed here is 315 they've paid us nothing so far so the balance is 315 so I will actually choose yes I'm going to take the payment now and you'll see how um, the fields necessary for taking all of the payment details appear obviously if you weren't taking um, credit card payment if they were going to send us a check then obviously that's all you need to know but in the case of um, credit any of the uh, credit cards you would actually need to know uh, all of their details too so here we have credit card number I'll just fill in these with some fields so you can actually see it working And we'll say the valid from is 0110. That is D Jones. Security code 123. We'll leave the registered address. Now, 
In contact doesn't actually take the credit card payment. What it will do is store these card details securely so that you can recall them and put them through your own credit card handling facilities. So enter those, click on next. Here is the final confirmation screen just to make sure that we've taken all the details correctly. And once we're happy with those, we can then click on the make booking button which will go and add that booking. So there you go, the booking's been added. And what I now want to do is to send a confirmation. If I click on the confirmation button here, and up comes a list of all the stationery that uh, we've set up for sending to customers. Um, in this case, I'm gonna choose the course booking confirmation letter. Over here on the right, you get a preview of it with the fields that will be populated with the customer information. What I'll do, I'll click on the preview button here and then you will see um, the full preview of what's going to be sent to the customer. So here we have the customer's name and address all filled in, the course that they booked, where it's going to take place and the payment that they have made. So what I'll do next, I'm actually going to print that. So if I click on the print button here, what this will do is generate a PDF document that you can then see exactly then how that is going to print. So that's laid out for print on an A4 sheet and I'll click on OK there. So that's printed and it will then say would you like to record the printing of this stationery in the contact history? I'll say yes to that because that means we then have a permanent record that this letter has been printed and I'm also going to email it as well. So if I click on the email button here and then a few seconds later, there we go, email has been sent. So we've uh, we've got a printed copy that we'll send in the post and he should receive a confirmation by email within minutes. Now, if I go back to the diary, you'll see here now we have Mr. David Jones booked in on this course. It's now updated the number available. So it's now said there are only nine spaces left, was one booked. And you'll see these symbols against uh, Mr. David Jones's name. The green flag, that indicates that he's fully paid. If I hover over it, you'll see £315 owed and he's fully paid. And these two symbols are to remind us that he opted for two of the booking options, so the £5 car parking pass and also the £10 lunch. Now, I'll demonstrate um, another feature which allows you to easily see who has paid and who hasn't. So if I book in another couple of people quickly, um, so I'll click on the Make New Booking button. I won't bother with the options this time. I will go through here and I will choose Look Up Contact because this will save us some typing time. I'm just going to book in um, a couple of people that have uh, already uh, that are already on our database. So click on next here. I'll say take a payment now, but this time I'm not going to take the full payment. I'm just going to take a deposit of £100. Um, and to speed things up, I will say that they are going to pay by cash. And then make that booking there click on the finish button and you'll see here we get the warning triangle so that shows us that he's paid 100 pounds sorry she's paid 100 pounds um, and still owes 200 and likewise if i make one more booking here and this time i'm not going to take a payment at all yeah we'll say take payment later make the booking, click on finish, and here we get the red cross because that indicates that the full amount, the full £300 is still owing and there's no payment being received so far. So this is a handy way in your diary when you're looking through is actually to check on who has paid, who is fully paid and who hasn't. Now if you want to look up someone's details, all we need to do is move here, click on the chap's name and that will pull us up all of the details that we have for Mr. David Jones. So you'll see here all of the details that we took uh, during the bookings process, his address. Now here are the two items in the contact history. This shows me 
that we both sent him um, a letter and also sent him an email. So if I click on the letter here, you will see how the system has kept an exact copy of exactly what was sent in the post. So there you go. There is the letter there. And if I click on OK there and choose also the email that was sent, you will see there is a copy of the email correspondence that was sent to him. So you can always look back and see exactly what has been sent to any given contact. And then finally, down below here is a training summary of uh, what he's trained with us so far. Here's the booking that was made. Here's the payment that he made. And the financial summary showing that he's fully paid up. So that pretty much concludes this section. Um, it shows how to open a course, how to book someone in, and then how to send a confirmation.